This is the iPhone 14 Pro and I've been using it for a little bit and it's got this really cool gold finish and I'd like to show it off. So looking at the uh, options I've had, I, there is the Apple clear case that comes in at uh, $50, but I really find it hard to justify $50 for a clear case. So today I'm gonna be taking a look at the Spigen Ultra Hybrid and this has the MagSafe uh, magnets in it as well. So it will perform very similar to the iPhone, uh, the Apple case. And the best part about this is this is $25 versus the $50. Yes, I will say this right off the bat. This one does yellow a little bit, but let me talk about where this will yellow. And this doesn't yellow all the way through. It will yellow a little bit on the sides. I know that a lot of people recommend the Apple cases because they don't yellow. But let me just show you guys the design of this case. So the back is actually not the same material as the sides. So the sides are what will slightly yellow over time, whereas the back will not. I've used a lot of these ultra hybrid cases over the years and the back does not get yellow. The sides do a little bit, but if you've got a gold phone, guess what? You won't notice anyways. So I decided to go ahead and try this phone out and try this case out to see what it's like. And I do have a uh, clear case, the Apple clear case, from the iPhone 12 mini and you know it is a decent reference point because they're pretty much unchanged now so let me go ahead and take a look at this case itself so it does have uh, impact protection here you guys can see there's these little um, gaps that are there for shock absorption so if you do have a drop it should be doing a good job of protecting your phone it does have the MagSafe ring in white this does come in a couple of color options you can get it in black you can get it in carbon fiber uh, I just went for the white one and let me go ahead and remove this plastic protective covering. Oop. All right. There we go. And the last one. All right. So with all the plastic removed, let's go ahead and put this on the phone. And oh, before I do, let me just go ahead and show you guys uh, the rigidity of it. So this is actually fairly rigid. This does not have a lot of flex. It, I'm doing it pretty hard and it doesn't. The sides are pretty rigid too. They don't have a lot of flex to them, which is pretty good. There is a little bit more flex near the volume buttons and the alert slider, which does make sense. The volume and uh, power buttons are covered with the clear plastic. The, there is a cutout for the, uh, the alert slider. And on the bottom, again, very clear and clean design, just cut out for the microphone, the charger, and the speaker grill. So let me go ahead and put this phone into the case. And there we go. That looks pretty clean and pretty slick. So this is what it looks like in the phone. And another thing I really do like about the SpyGen case is that the bottom is also covered. Whereas with the Apple case, the bottom is completely uncovered. I would prefer to have complete protection because if I were to say drop it on the bottom, there is still a chance that my uh, phone could kind of get a pretty bad uh, dent or even send a shock through the bottom to break the screen. So having a complete uh, covered ca clear case is also very important to me. And this case actually has a very, very significant lip. It comes out fairly higher than the uh, you know display, and that's with a tempered glass screen protector installed. So this phone does have a tempered glass screen protector installed too, and even with that on, it still sits above uh, you know the the entire screen. So that is something good, and I'm glad because that means that it will be protected if you were to use the phone face down. So. Um, overall, I am definitely liking this case. And before I get going, let me go ahead and show you guys the most important part because this is a MagSafe case. Let's see how it compares when you put it on a MagSafe stand. So it does spin, which is fine. I don't think spinning is a problem, but it doesn't fall off easily. You definitely have to give it a decent amount of uh, force. Like just tapping it won't make it fall. So like that was a pretty hard hot hit for it to fall down. So that's impressive and it does have pretty good magnetic strength. And just to show you guys, the iPhone, the Apple case will be very similar too. You know, it, it spins around just as freely, and if you were to give it a hard knock, it will fall down too. So um, the magnetic strength is pretty satisfactory and pretty much exactly what I'd expect from the Apple uh, case as well. So the feel in hand is pretty nice. It does have this smooth uh, feeling. It, it could be a little bit grippier. There could be a little bit more grip on the sides. I feel like maybe a textured design on the side would have been nice, or at least for the power or volume buttons. But this is a very clean design, no uh, textures of any kind, just a flat 
smooth surface all around. So the camera is also well protected with the raised camera lip. As you guys can see, the clear case actually does show off those two lenses, which is pretty cool. And I keep dropping this, but I guess that's what this case is for, to protect it from drop. So overall, I'm very happy with this case. For $25, I really don't think you can go wrong. Even if, say, it does start to yellow in a couple of months, you can just change it out. And maybe by that point, you don't want a clear case, so you can go ahead and switch this out. So if you guys want to check this out, I'll have it linked down in the description below. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen and of course linked down in the description below. Go ahead and follow me over there for more photos and behind the scenes. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for the channel for more iPhone 14 case and content comparisons coming your way. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next